Cambridge Movers 2 by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello, this is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test, Test 1. Part 1. Look at part 1. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Where's Jane? She's in the garden. She's playing badminton. Is she the girl in the red dress? Yes, she is. OK, I see her. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. So who's the girl in the blue dress? The girl who's playing badminton or the girl who's bouncing a ball? The girl who's playing badminton. That's Sally. Sally? That's right. Two. And where is Jane's brother? Jane's brother? Oh, you mean Paul. That's right, Paul. Is he the boy who's kicking a ball? No, he's climbing a tree. Oh, I see him. He's climbing very well. Yes, he is. Three. Who's that under the tree? The boy under the tree or the girl? The boy. He wants to climb the tree, I think. His name's Jim. He's Jill's brother. I see. Four. Where is Jill? She's here. She's bouncing a ball. Is she the girl in the long blue dress? That's right. That's Jill. Five. And who's the boy who's kicking the ball? The boy in the red T-shirt? Yes. Is that Bill? No, it's Peter. Bill isn't here today. Oh, so Peter likes soccer too. Yes, he does. Now listen to part one again. One. So who's the girl in the blue dress? The girl who's playing badminton or the girl who's bouncing a ball? The girl who's playing badminton. That's Sally. Sally? That's right. Two. And where is Jane's brother? Jane's brother? Oh, you mean Paul. That's right, Paul. Is he the boy who's kicking a ball? No, he's climbing a tree. Oh, I see him. He's climbing very well. Yes, he is. Three. Who's that under the tree? The boy under the tree or the girl? The boy. He wants to climb the tree, I think. His name's Jim. He's Jill's brother. I see. Four. Where is Jill? She's here. She's bouncing a ball. Is she the girl in the long blue dress? That's right. That's Jill. Five. And who's the boy who's kicking the ball? The boy in the red T-shirt? Yes. Is that Bill? No, it's Peter. Bill isn't here today. Oh, so Peter likes soccer too. Yes, he does. That is the end of part one.
Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, John. Tell me about your brother, please. Okay. What can I tell you? Well, what's his name? It's Mark. M A R K. Yes. N A R K. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. How old is Mark? He's seventeen now. Oh, seventeen. Two. Is Mark at school? No, he works now. He works in a library. Three. Does he work at the weekend? No, he doesn't work on Saturdays, Sundays, or Wednesdays. Oh, he only works four days a week. Yes. Four. What does he like doing at the weekend? He always goes to the cinema. Does he take you with him? Sometimes. Five. Does he do any sport? He likes watching soccer, but he doesn't play. He plays table tennis every Wednesday. Now listen to part two again. One. How old is Mark? He's seventeen now. Oh, seventeen. Two. Is Mark at school? No, he works now. He works in a library. Three. Does he work at the weekend? No, he doesn't work on Saturdays, Sundays, or Wednesdays. Oh, he only works four days a week. Yes. Four. What does he like doing at the weekend? He always goes to the cinema. Does he take you with him? Sometimes. Five. Does he do any sport? He likes watching soccer, but he doesn't play. He plays table tennis every Wednesday. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Vicky do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Vicky. Did you have a good holiday last week? Yes, thanks. It was great. What did you do? Well, on Saturday we went to the zoo. We saw a lot of animals there. Can you see the line from the word Saturday? On Saturday. Vicky went to the zoo. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Friday? We went to the cinema, I think. Did you? Yes, that's right. It rained that day. Was it a good film? Yes. It was about animals in the jungle, and it was funny. Two. Did you have a picnic when you were on your holiday? Yes, we took one to the beach. Which day was that? Tuesday, I think. That's right, Tuesday. Three.
Three. And I went swimming in the sea one day. Was that on Sunday? It was very sunny that day. No, it was on Monday. Oh, did you enjoy it? Yes, and my mum swam with me, and our dog. Four. And did you go to the forest too? Yes, on Wednesday. We had another picnic there. We sat near a river. Wow. Yes, our dog loved swimming there. Did you go in the water too? No, it was too cold. Five. And where did you go on Thursday? On Thursday, it rained and rained, so we didn't go out. What did you do then? I watched TV. What did you see? Only an old film about an elephant. I didn't enjoy it. It was boring. Oh. Now listen to part three again. One. What did you do on Friday? We went to the cinema, I think. Did you? Yes, that's right. It rained that day. Was it a good film? Yes. It was about animals in the jungle, and it was funny. Two. Did you have a picnic when you were on your holiday? Yes. We took one to the beach. Which day was that? Tuesday, I think. That's right. Tuesday. Three. And I went swimming in the sea one day. Was that on Sunday? It was very sunny that day. No, it was on Monday. Oh, did you enjoy it? Yes, and my mum swam with me, and our dog. Four. And did you go to the forest too? Yes, on Wednesday. We had another picnic there. We sat near a river. Wow. Yes, our dog loved swimming there. Did you go in the water too? No, it was too cold. Five. And where did you go on Thursday? On Thursday, it rained and rained, so we didn't go out. What did you do then? I watched TV. What did you see? Only an old film about an elephant. I didn't enjoy it. It was boring. Oh. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Peter do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Peter? I played basketball. Do you like basketball more than baseball? Yes, I do. I don't like baseball. Do you like it? No, soccer's best. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did Jill have for lunch? Did you have a good lunch, Jill? Yes, it was okay. What did you have? I had some soup. Only soup? No, I had an apple after the soup. Oh, I had some sandwiches and a cake. Two, where does Bill live? Where do you live, Bill? I live next to the playground, and a shop. A toy shop? No, a bookshop. Do you like reading? Yes, I do. Three, 
What did Jim's grandmother give him for his birthday? Was it your birthday last week, Jim? Yes, it was. Did you get any presents? Yes, I did. I got a new bike from my grandmother, some CDs, and a sweater. Did your parents give you the CDs? No, they gave me the sweater. And who gave you the CDs? My grandfather. Four. Where is Mary going? Are you going to town, Mary? Yes, I am. Are you going to the library? No, I'm going to the cinema. The ABC cinema? No, the Park Cinema. Oh, enjoy the film. Thanks. Five. Which is Daisy's new pet? I got a new pet yesterday. Another dog? No, my dad didn't want another dog. So what did you get? I wanted a rabbit, but the shop didn't have any. So what did you get? A parrot. Now listen to part four again. One, what did Jill have for lunch? Did you have a good lunch, Jill? Yes, it was okay. What did you have? I had some soup. Only soup? No, I had an apple after the soup. Oh, I had some sandwiches and a cake. Two, where does Bill live? Where do you live, Bill? I live next to the playground, and a shop. A toy shop. No, a bookshop. Do you like reading? Yes, I do. Three. What did Jim's grandmother give him for his birthday? Was it your birthday last week, Jim? Yes, it was. Did you get any presents? Yes, I did. I got a new bike from my grandmother, some CDs, and a sweater. Did your parents give you the CDs? No, they gave me the sweater. And who gave you the CDs? My grandfather. Four. Where is Mary going? Are you going to town, Mary? Yes, I am. Are you going to the library? No, I'm going to the cinema. The ABC cinema? No, the Park Cinema. Oh, enjoy the film. Thanks. Five. Which is Daisy's new pet? I got a new pet yesterday. Another dog. No, my dad didn't want another dog. So what did you get? I wanted a rabbit, but the shop didn't have any. So what did you get? A parrot. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at the picture. Can you see the shark? Yes, I can. It's next to the whale. That's right. Color the shark's eyes green. Okay. Now it's got green eyes. Good. Can you see the shark's eyes? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. This shark has got green eyes and red teeth. So shall I color its teeth red? Yes. Color them all red. Okay. Two. Shall I colour a fish? Yes. Colour the smallest fish yellow. A yellow fish. 
That's right. Good. I like yellow. Three. Now, can you find the whale? Is that the whale next to the shark? That's right. Now draw a big fish above the whale. Draw a big fish where? Draw it above the whale. OK. Four. Now can I colour the whale? Yes. Colour it grey. OK. I'm colouring the whale grey. Five. OK now? Yes. Can I draw again now? Right. Draw a pink fish below the whale. A fish below the whale. Good. Now colour it pink. I like my picture now. Now listen to part five again. One. This shark has got green eyes and red teeth. So shall I colour its teeth red? Yes, colour them all red. OK. Two. Shall I colour a fish? Yes. Colour the smallest fish yellow. A yellow fish. That's right. Good. I like yellow. Three. Now, can you find the whale? Is that the whale next to the shark? That's right. Now draw a big fish above the whale. Draw a big fish where? Draw it above the whale. OK. Four. Now can I colour the whale? Yes. Colour it grey. OK. I'm colouring the whale grey. Five. OK now? Yes. Can I draw again now? Right. Draw a pink fish below the whale. A fish below the whale. Good. Now colour it pink. I like my picture now. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 1.